technology, the truth. Play, giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. The Endermans, bro. What's up, guys? Mint chocolate chip? Okay, then. Let's get some of that lime green. Oh, it's ours. Here we are. Nothing at all, I swear. Uh, yeah, okay. Sky Horrors! Yeah. Uh, we're, pretty, we're pretty bad at this, but yesterday, though, I literally won. Watchdog has banned 18,952 players in the last seven days. Subscribe to me and the Endermans, bro, for more crazy, crazy content. And also, if...
Hey everybody, it's Storm, and welcome to the exposing of the Endermans, bro. You guys have no idea how long I've been wanting to make this video for. It's finally time for me to expose the Endermans, bro. For everything he's done to me and to other people, he's finally gonna get what he deserves. This guy has done some really, really nasty things over the past couple years, and I'm finally gonna expose him for his actions. I've been wanting to make this video for months, and now I finally get the chance to record this, upload it to YouTube. Everyone will get to see what this piece of crap has done. I am unironically gonna end this kid's whole career. So let's begin the exposing, shall we? Some of you guys that are watching this video might be new to my channel. In which case, first of all, you should smash that button, like, and subscribe. And also comment about how much you hate Nebula after I show you the following. Second of all, in this video, I'm going to be mentioning some older content that I've made. So I'm going to be trying to explain this situation the best I can. And if you guys have any questions, comment them down below and I'll try to answer them in the best way that I can. So our story begins in 2017. The Endermans bro was the person who introduced me to Discord. He was talking about it with me in DMs. He was all like, hey, do you want to call on Discord? I'm like, what's Discord? What about Skype? And he's all like, uh, Discord's another one of those uh, free chatting services and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, cool. I'll try it. We called and we eventually became friends. Soon we came across Sir Altio, who's famous in Texas and plays Minecraft, has a YouTube channel, all that stuff. And the Endermans bro has a YouTube channel too. Like he's about to fight you Ryan. He looks like he's on the verge of tears. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, the Endermans bro has two names, or I guess three if you're counting this one. The Endermans bro is what his original name was, at least that's the oldest name I've ever seen him use. At some point in time during the drama, the Endermans bro changed his name to Nebula, and I was told that he and his friend, whose name is Wrench, they were just kind of on like some kind of name generator or something, and Nebula popped up, and he's actually been using that name. Right now he's called Nebula Plays, so yeah, that's a thing. So if you guys ever hear me calling this guy the Endermans bro, Nebula, Nebula Plays, they're all different usernames for the same person. Just wanted to clear that up. So like I was saying, me and the Endermans bro came across Sir Altio, and we were having fun as a little trio of people who played Minecraft a lot. And then we came across this kid. He was about nine at the time, and his name is Epic Miner. So then it was the four of us playing Minecraft and maybe some other games all the time. We were all like the bestest of friends. Now that I think about it, this is the drama that ended up starting not just bad blood between me and Nebula, but also what caused drama between Zypixel and Ender Knight MC to happen. This is what started everything. I just realized that. You guys probably don't understand what I'm talking about if you're new here. I'll be talking about all that later. Wait, what? What is this? Why is he messaging me? Your game mode is so fun. 
I don't care. Yes, you do, little man. No, I don't. I, I'm not a clout chaser like you. Uh-huh. I don't even play Fortnite anymore. Just watch it and then leave a like, subscribe, and comment how much you love me and hate Strom. Oh my gosh, Beast is still being dumb to this day. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, go watch this video. This Beast guy is terrible. This Beast guy is a huge idiot. I don't think he saw that video either. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if he saw that video or not. I would send it to him, but he has me blocked. Thought you might want it if you're still exposing Beast. I mean, I kind of am now. I, I mean, I exposed Beast already, but here's a little bit more exposure for you beast for being a freaking idiot now back to nebula again it used to be the four of us me the endermans bro seraltio and epic miner having fun on minecraft until one day one day the endermans bro started picking on epic miner Nebula was like 13 at the time, maybe 14, I don't know. Picking on a nine-year-old kid, literally targeting him, going after him for pretty much no reason. Like literally everything's been fine and then he starts picking on this kid. Now I don't have the chat history of that. All that stuff happened in Discord, but I don't have the chat history to that. Sir Altio probably still does though, but I kind of doubt it. There's Sir Altio right there. He's actually still around. You know what? I'm going to ask him right now actually. All right, I don't know if he's gonna respond, but we're gonna find out eventually. So like I was saying, the Endermans bro started picking on the nine-year-old kid, Epic Miner. I was wondering what the crap was going on. Apparently the Endermans bro didn't like Epic Miner and he was absolutely going after him a lot of the time. Epic Miner was getting really hurt by that stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, another thing, the Endermans bro's real name is Logan. That's another name that I might be calling him throughout this video. So just keeping you guys noted of that. It was mainly me just asking what's going on between the Endermans bro and Epic Miner. I kept asking the Endermans bro questions. He was being pretty rude about his answers and stuff like that. And then eventually he left the group chat that we were in. But right before he left, he said something about it being an easy answer to his problems or something. And that's where these DMs come into play. These are our DMs back from October 30th, 2017. I asked him what the easy answer is and why he left the chat. He said the answer to his problems was to leave the chat. I mentioned that it makes no sense. You're mad at him because you're leaving the chat. And then he starts going absolutely paranoid thinking that we're gonna talk crap about him for this. As he says here, I even say WTF do you mean? Throughout the day, I was still trying to be friendly with him like the best I could and he just didn't care. The easy answer to my problem is leaving the problem. You can't just leave problems. You leave the chat, the problem is still with you. Even after you like block yourself off of all the social media, the problem is still with you. There is no way to leave your problem unless you resolve your problem, which you didn't do. Why are you mad at him in the first place? He's not a problem, he did nothing wrong, you just bash him for no reason. Doesn't really make you that good of a person, I'll be honest. That's not in your business. It is if you're doing this in our chat or doing it to any of my friends. This is not acceptable behavior. He did nothing wrong. Wrong. How is it not my business? Okay, dad. Starts being kind of a D head about everything. Call me dad if you want, but you shouldn't be doing this anyways. Maybe you should tell that to the in the group chat. Also, you told me to leave the chat because of him, I think a week ago. Immediately after that, he tries to manipulate the situation by saying, I feel like I'm losing friends every day. He tries to make me feel bad for him and that it's his brain that's being a problem. It's like, oh, I'm having issues. Oh, oh, my issues are what the problem is. Oh, it's not me. It's my brain. It's my brain. Maybe you'll feel better if you don't bash Epic anymore and apologize. That won't help. I don't have to like him if I don't want to. Well, then what do you think? I think I should just keel over and die. Tries to manipulate the situation even more from 10 to 1 billion in an instant. Makes it seem like, oh, I have suicidal issues. That's why I'm bashing out of people. That doesn't make any sense at all. Apparently, if you're feeling suicidal, you just get angry and you yell at everyone and you insult them and bully other people, essentially. It makes sense. It definitely, it really makes sense. Like, 
It's just logical. Don't make this deep, just making things more sad by doing this. Why would you care? Because we are all friends. As you can see, I'm still trying to be friends with him, and he's just trying to make the situation like this. If we're friends, then do me a friendly favor and don't put me in that group chat. I'm sorry that I don't like one person. Nice emphasis. Why don't you even like him? You aren't telling me why. I don't have to if I don't want. Mostly because it's personal stuff that you won't understand, and I'm not telling you no matter what. I'm sure that a nine-year-old could just not do anything, and you'd get personal problems just by hearing him or seeing him type in the chat. It makes sense. Definitely makes sense. Definitely not the worst thing I have ever seen. He's typing back. I can ask Adriano. That would be great. Recording Enderman's Bros exposing video right now. Cool. Oh yeah, Adriano is uh, Epic Miner's real name. I'm even saying here, how the hell is not liking a kid on the internet personal? Honestly, I have no idea what your logic is, but if you say why, then we could fix the problem. I'm giving him an opportunity to get problems resolved. But he says in all caps and in bold text, cause it's my opinions on him. First of all, blood, that's not what I meant to say. Bold text and caps, really? And second of all, that's not a good enough reason for why this whole thing is personal. This, that is basically saying that from here on out, I won't tell anyone IRL or on the internet what I think about you because it's my opinions and it's personal when it really isn't. The point is you might as well just tell us why. Fun fact, Colton was the one who add Epic to our chat. Oh yeah, Colton is Sir Altio's real name. You are literally the only person I know that doesn't get the fact that if it's a personal problem, then to not ask questions, especially when it's me. What is that supposed to mean? Also, the reason why I keep asking you is because it's not personal problems, because that doesn't make any sense. Just leave me alone and let me be who I want to be. A cyberbully? I mean, I can't let that happen. I can't let you bully people any longer. Did you not read anything I just typed? It's not a personal problem. Having opinions on someone isn't anything personal. Dude, it's things that I personally don't like about him. And I was about to say, how would you know him personally? Completely evades the question and says, I'm already stressed. Stressed out enough anyways. So lay off. Basically the definition of a bully, knowing him personally, still evades the question, lay off. You brought it up. I just can't lay off like that. This is a big deal. Then he says that. Big deal. Dude, you actually need to chill. Are you serious? You are stressing me out. And remember that this is all about you bullying a kid on Discord. All you need to do is stop. It's not that hard. You aren't helping. Just stop. Maybe you should stop. I didn't start beef with any kids on Discord. I don't need to stop anything. And then at this moment, the Enderman's bro changes his name to something absolutely depressing. I can't remember what it was, but he changed his name to something depressing. Blacked out his profile picture. I'm not even kidding. He was trying so hard to manipulate the situation and I was not falling for it at all. Why do I even call you a friend? Dude, what have you done? This isn't a video game or some dark applier or antiseptic eye crap. You've stressed me down to this level, to the level where I get suicidal thoughts, which reminds me of my uncle who killed himself, manipulating the situation more, saying that he lost a relative to suicide. I sleep in tears. Good night. This all makes no sense. This all started you with it, you insulting a kid. Now you change your profile picture and name and now have suicidal thoughts? Well, I'm gonna go tell a kid he's bad and change my name and profile picture to I want to die and have suicidal thoughts. I knew exactly what was going on back then. This makes no sense. You need to apologize to everyone. Go freak yourself. Do you even care? Did, it's like he didn't even read the message. Read the message I just sent. It makes no sense. It's all pointless. It's all pointless. Just apologize to Epic. I'll see ya when you're ready to say sorry. I don't know why I put a winking emoji in there. Well then, you will be seeing me for the rest of your life. I'm sure that won't happen, dude. The same situation has happened too many times. I swear you'll be coming back to us very soon. And then he stops typing for the day. Next day, he types back to yesterday's message saying, doubt it. Why is it so hard for you to apologize to Epic? 
because I don't like him. Is that hard to understand or do I have to spell it out for you? You're just repeating yourself. Why don't you like him? He did nothing wrong. Honestly, stop changing your name and profile picture. It doesn't change anything. We will still know it's you anyways. Then I go over and take a screenshot of his Instagram and send it to him for whatever reason, I guess to tell him that we will, we still know who you are on Instagram and stuff. I don't know. And then he says, but that person has changed completely. Dude, this is just getting annoying. You really don't care about what? me you're making this situation way bigger than it needs to be of course i care otherwise we wouldn't be talking about this right now if you actually cared you would have realized by now that i don't want to talk about it this drama is all very unnecessary just like changing your icon and name just like all this drama that you started also you should be talking about it you need to stop being this drama queen like person call me that one more time and see what happens i dare you Happy Halloween, by the way. Who are you going as, the Drama Queen's bro or the Enderman's bro? I really hope you choose the second one and come back to us. Playing with an animation program, eh? Still the same old Enderman's bro that I know, it seems. Yeah, just because I'm on Minimator doesn't mean it's gonna be all happy stuff, and I'm going as a depressed man's bro, and I won't be changing that name anytime soon. Okay, first of all, he's not depressed. Second of all, the Enderman's bro never made a sad Minimator animation about his quote-unquote problems and stuff. Plus, why would anyone ever do that? Why would anyone make an animation about that stuff? Even if you did have those feelings, you wouldn't think, oh, I'm feeling depressed. I'm gonna go make a Minecraft animation. So you are making a non-happy animation then. Also, I know you aren't gonna stay depressed for long because the same situation has happened many times before as I expected. I changed my name because Colton actually understands. What do you mean he understands? I actually told him about what you were pulling off here and he laughed a lot and called you a drama queen as well. Yeah, we were in a call and uh, talked about that. I didn't even finish telling him about what you're doing. What do you think about that? I'm curious about the animation you're working on now. Your fake friend. You guys are effing talking bad about me and you guys are laughing at in bold me behind my back. What the hell is your problem? and now you won't be hearing my voice ever again. Lie one, us being fake friends. Lie two, us talking trash about you. Lie three, us being the problem. This was back then. Now there's everyone talking trash about Nebula because of how horrible he actually is. As far as I can tell, wait, let me put this in bold caps for added effect. You were the one who made this happen and you're making this a way bigger deal than it needs to be. So enough with this fake depression crap. It's just getting really annoying. Lie number 359, we will not hear your voice again. This isn't fake depression, fake boy. You've seen my face, lol, why are you calling me fake? Also my YouTube channel. And for some reason I posted, why did I do this again? Just took a great pic with my last class. You should be as happy as we are. Hashtag exotic butters. Why did I send this to him? Why did I do this? I took this picture and posted it to Instagram on Halloween 2017. But there was no reason for me to send this at all. But either way, my care is 0%. Exactly the problem. That's it. I'm blocking you. Altio message me again. I don't have Epic Miner's disc anymore. I'm asking his sister. I know what it is. 
Okay, he wants Epic Miner's Discord. I'm gonna send to him real quick. Okay, so until Altio gets Epic Miner's attention, we're gonna move on to November 1st of 2017, which is when the Halloween drama pretty much ended. So I tell him, hey, because I wanted to talk to him because he apologized at some point for what he did. I say, hey, he's immediately like, what? Want to criticize me more? And then I say, oh, no, 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 no. I heard you apologized. And I'd like to apologize for what happened as well. I won't make a video on you. I'll delete the Instagram post. Yeah, I made Instagram. Instagram posts about him when this was going on. Thanks for apologizing to Epic 2 and please remove the playing with real friends thing. Nebula made it so whenever he was playing a game it would say like playing with real friends. You still need to apologize to me. Please dude. I will delete the post and I won't make a video about you if you apologize to me. You also said really bad things to me. In fact, you started saying bad things to me first. I gave you my apology and now I need yours. Okay, honestly though, there was no need for me to apologize because I didn't do anything. I literally didn't do anything. I was defending my friend. I had nothing to be sorry for. So if anything, it's more of an apology for being in the situation in the first place. He just says, I'm sorry. I should have been like, sorry for what? You aren't faking, not trying to continue the beef. It's all up to you. No, I'm not. By the way, I know you asked. I am Chill Time Vibes. That is one of Logan's uh, other Instagram accounts. Wow. Okay, well, I accept your apology. Yeah, we start talking casually, and uh, I gave him permission to call me brain dead because I didn't realize something. But seriously though, please don't let this happen again. If Epic bothers you, ignore him, block him, or something like that. Epic is my friend too. It's literally stuff that I don't like that you guys probably do. That's what I meant by personal stuff. That's not at all personal. Personal is like family and death and stuff like that. Things that are really close to you. I understand where you were trying to go with this, but it just wasn't personal. I'm glad the beef is over though. Instagram posts deleted. They better be. Go check, you're welcome. I also said I was making a sad animation. Look at this, he straight up admits to me, I said I was making a sad animation to concern you. It's gonna be for chill time vibes if you wanna follow that. Okay then, uh, I'm having Sony Vegas trouble, but I'm figuring it out. That animation never came out on chill time vibes. So yeah, then we start talking normally again. We pretty much become friends. The Halloween 2017 drama is over. We got all that handled and stuff like that. We were all good again. I wasn't gonna expose him for what he did. I told him that I would delete posts that I made about him and I wouldn't make a video on him and that I wouldn't make a video on him about what he's done. So that was supposed to be the end of everything. That was supposed to be the end of all that stuff. But then Christmas time came around. After the Halloween drama happened, everything was kind of normal. Nebula's been being kind of silent for a while though, throughout November and through the beginning of December, until Christmas time came around. Now you could say that there's nothing here from Christmas time in Discord DMs, but here's the thing. Me and Nebula agreed to delete every single message on Discord from the Christmas drama.
However, the Christmas drama isn't completely lost because there's some in the Instagram DMs. You could see here, December 14th, 2017, and you love to be, yeah. And he's probably gonna change his name again everywhere after this video releases, just so that way he could cover up what he's been doing. I don't know what these conversations are from. Apparently our previous DMs have been deleted or something. I don't know what happened to them. But you can see here, December 14th, 2017 at 10.05 a.m. I mentioned Nebula in my story, a few different times at these points and he said that and then he says and i hope you realize that you're the worst person to step foot on this planet oh wait you're too ignorant to realize that too now nah, that's you i didn't do anything i'm a just living my life. Yeah, life is a huge a-hole. Again, that's you and you don't get that. No, it's not. This isn't making you look good at all. Waiting for the block. Waiting for him to block me. Do you think I give a crap about what you're saying? Yes. Well, newsflash, I don't. Two words, YouTube video. I don't care. Oh no, 51 people are gonna see it. Who cares? So this is back when I had about 50 subscribers or so. I could have no subscribers and still post this video and people will still see it. I could have a thousand subscribers. I could have 20 subscribers. They could show it off to their friends and I can send this video to your friends. It's called spreading the word. It's not just 51 people that are gonna see it. That's not how it works. So why are you all like, I will kill you IRL if you post that. Don't even bother deleting the story you made. You are so exposed, dude, until you stop this at least. Oh yeah, he made like five Instagram stories in a row. This is like the first time that Nebula has publicly called me crap. He posted on his story like five times in a row the same thing. I don't care. I'm not gonna apologize because you'll do it anyways. I will not if you apologize for everything you've done to me. Bull crap. Dude, you did it the first time. Like, why are you thinking that I wouldn't do it a second time? Really? But you probably won't because your mind is reversed about the situation. That's complete bull crap. Because you know I'm the one over here posting bad things about you, threatening you, and that stuff, yeah, totally the things I do. Why don't you look at yourself and the things that you do before you say that? I should be saying the things you've done to me and think about what you're saying. This isn't BS and no, I did nothing to you. You're just bashing me for no reason like you did with Epic. This is the second time you've done this. Do you really want to risk not apologizing? Why would it matter? I don't believe you. Even if I do apologize, you'll do it anyways. Cause like you said, you don't care about me. No, I won't. And if you don't believe me, then that vid is coming out. And little did you know that I've been, yeah, here he goes trying to manipulate the situation again. I've been getting treated like crap for the past three months at school. Oh wait, oh I didn't. Well, let me just tell you that you're not making me feel any better as a matter of fact. You're making me feel worse. I almost went to the point of tear throughout those months and you doing this won't make things any better. It'll make things worse. But then again, why would you give two craps? I'll actually kill myself and you still wouldn't care. And now you're still gonna say bad things about me that you think will make things better. And here comes the bad things about me. He said that as I was typing this out. I was being nice to you thinking I was saying something bad, to you lying about me, to you insulting me. So yeah, of course I would talk crap about you if you did something like this to me. This is all on you. That weight that you're feeling probably doesn't feel good now, does it? Killing yourself over a little comment. I know that's serious, but also ridiculous and embarrassing. Literally, Nebula is saying like, oh, I'm gonna kill myself over a YouTube video or some messages or some comments, even though I was the one who was bullying people. I can see through your fake trash. Like literally, you kill yourself over that kind of crap. It's really sad and it's actually embarrassing. <laughs> You really don't care that I'm hated by everyone? Maybe you're the cyber bully. I've also had enough of being treated like crap. But do you care? Of course not. That isn't what I said. How many times have I had to tell you that ever since you started this? I'm not a cyber bully, FYI, easy answer. You're the one treating me like crap and you don't give a single crap. Ha ha ha, that's hilarious. You're the one who's been threatening me, not giving two craps that I'm going suicidal again and making crap posts about me. I was laughing my face off at this because he completely flipped the situation, saying that I was the one threatening him and I was the one doing all that stuff to him. And then he says, go freak yourself, Storm. Maybe your mom should have sold your computer. That's so funny. You said I threatened you. And no, I won't F myself. Yee. Yeah, you do. No, I did not. I'm starting to really make fun of him at this point since he's just being so trash. You're such a horrible friend. You didn't even tell us our name. Your. You forgot to correct this, your. Literally, this is the most broken logic I've ever seen. I'm a horrible friend because I don't tell people on the internet my name. What is that logic? And literally, if I do this, I literally had to deal with this crap while I was at school. I was in the middle of school during all of this. Granted, it was lunchtime and I was able to talk a lot, but this was just terrible. What does that have to do with anything and me being a bad friend? And now I don't even want to know it. Friends actually tell each other their names. 
I literally told you my name first thing, thinking that you were actually a good person, but it looks like I was wrong. Okay, Logan Theason. That's his last name. You're trying to think of every single possible thing you can to make it seem like I'm bad, but you're failing miserably. Nope, you need to accept that you're a bad person for threatening me, lying about me, etc. But you're not. Instead, you're going to flip the sentence and say that I did all that when I didn't. Again, you would be lying about me. Even people I know, care, don't want me to kill myself while you over here don't give a crap. They don't know what you did! I wish I never knew you, then my life could be so much better. But of course, I had to know you. Had to? You made me join Discord. No, I asked. You're the one who introduced me to Discord. You wanted to call. You, all you, accept it. No, I asked you. You could have said no. You're right, I could have. But guess what? I accepted. Because I wanted to talk to you. I agreed to talk to you and everything. I wanted to go through Discord afterwards. I wanted to see what Discord was like. And Discord is absolutely amazing. But of course, the person who introduced me to Discord in the first place is now my enemy. My biggest enemy of all time. Honestly, I kind of wish I never met you because on your end, you're a cyberbully who waited a long time to let this loose. Still waiting for the block so I could talk crap about you. Not really. Behind this screen, I'm the nicest guy in school. Yeah, because you're too scared to start any IRL drama with anyone. And yes, that's all you do to me. You crap talk about me. You're a freaking monster. That's you. That's funny because I just said that you're the freaking monster. And I'm saying you are because you started this. That video is so coming out now. You obviously aren't apologizing. So yep, rip you, take that L. You wouldn't want to make a video on me and upload it to your channel or whatever because you're probably too scared to use the voice of yours and actually speak out. I'm not even intimidated by your ugly butt. Completely avoiding the fact that he is indeed too scared to speak up about the situation and respond. Honestly, right now, I still kind of doubt that Logan's going to come out with a video coming back at me. There's no way he's going to make a response video. He's too worried. He knows that what he's doing is wrong. Good. That's just fine. Don't need to be all mad because I'm being a stressed out person. I ain't mad. I'm laughing. Yeah, you are. Because you're faking it. You're ruining my chances of me giving a crap about you ever again. About killing yourself, getting bullied at school, whatever. Thanks for that. Now I'm lying even though I've almost cried every day because of me being bullied all this time. You are an a-hole. Thank you, and you're a lying cyberbully scumbag. Storm, how would you know if I'm lying, huh? Explain now! Now! I'm waiting! Now! The answer is too easy that even a baby would know. Nice childlike insult coming from me. I said now! Answer! Now I say K, and then I take a couple screenshots. One of the screenshots are from the Discord DMs that we had before that are now deleted. I don't know if this was actually Logan or not, but I'll let you be the judge. This is coming from his account. It just doesn't show it. I had to take a square screenshot. What's up? This is his brother. You are 16 and have no friends, and you really think that you are one hot shot. You have 51 subscribers and 81 followers. If you make a video, I will find you, and I will beat you so hard that you will have two broken arms and a broken leg. Now stop texting him and making fun of him because I will expose you, you gay hobo. And what do you do, suck Hilemi, before you talk because you sound like you're five. Did I just get threatened by a 14 year old? I thought it was Logan himself saying this. I didn't think that, ooh, maybe this was his brother because I think he does have a brother. It's Epic Minor. He's here. Hi, father. E oh, what? Okay.
I posted that you're the one who's been threatening me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so much more. Might as well wait for my video. It's a lot easier to explain that way. It's also funny because I was going to give you and Colton something for Christmas, but now you have ruined that. I've been thinking of it for weeks and I didn't do anything. Sick. Um, the reason why I'm not is because of what you're doing right now, dummy. And the reason why I don't care about you anymore is because of what you're doing right now, dummy. Oh, I know it wasn't right now. It's been for a while. All you've done to me is treat me like crap and I've had enough of it. Lol, more lies loving this conversation. And then the golden comment, kill yourself, Storm. You're a worthless piece of trash. Too bad you can't upload anything to YouTube about this because you're too scared to speak out with your voice. I said that again, and I was in the middle of typing that before he sent this. Lol, you literally just said that. And then he blocked me. Okay, so after that conversation happened, I've been blocked by Nebula for a while, and I was gonna make that video on him. And here's the thing. I actually recorded that video. I recorded it and I began editing it. And then January 22nd, cause yeah, I was so slow with YouTube back then. Hey Storm, just wanted to let you know that I apologize. I had to tell John and Colton that. Oh yeah, John is Wrench's real name. That I did cause I had no other way for me to do because you banned me from Dean Bean's server, which is literally the only way I could tell you that I did. So if you upload that video, just remember that I apologize and this will probably be the last time I will be talking to you cause I don't want this to happen ever again. I was gonna bring something up about spoiled milk, but that would have been pointless because that was something that we invented last year. So then I say, you mean it? Wait, you apologized, meaning you did it before? Where, when, or did you do it just now? Dude, I said that I told Colton and John to tell you I wasn't lying. I see now, sorry for being a bit dumb right there. I'll delete that teaser video when I get to my computer in a little while. Glad this ended well. Canceling the video I was gonna make on you as well. Thanks for apologizing. And I really hope something like this doesn't happen a third time. Oh yeah, and I'll let you in Dean's server again as well. I'll unban you. You know when you said that you didn't want this to happen a third time, that's why I said I won't talk to you for a while. Okay, I also heard that Dean hates my guts. This was the second time this has happened, and I don't know about Dean being hating you or not. He hasn't told me anything. And then we start having slightly normal conversations and stuff like that. So that was the Christmas drama. Okay guys, here's the thing. I actually don't have too much time to record right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the recording here and I'm gonna continue recording this video at a later date. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the future then. Hey guys, so I am recording this almost a week after the last clip that you just saw. Nothing else has happened with Nebula between the last clip and this clip. I'm just gonna continue with what I was talking about last week. After that Christmas drama happened, me and Nebula sorted things out again. He said sorry again, and I agreed not to make a video on him again, and we both decided to delete all the Discord messages that were about the Christmas drama. One day I came back to Discord and I was asked if I wanted to join FNAP again. And I did join FNAP again. At the same time that I joined Discord and FNAP again, I released my teaser video for Zypixel and the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Now here's the thing, that's not what I was gonna call the video originally. It was just gonna be something like Zypixel Exposed or FNAP Exposed. I didn't call it Zypixel and the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse at the time until later that day. Soon after I uploaded the teaser, the special event happened. I teased this special event quite a bit in Zypixel and the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse episode two, and now I'm finally gonna be talking about it in this video and what it is. If we go over to my Discord server right now, Storm Warriors V2, if you guys check out the info page, you can see here, welcome to Storm Warriors V2. The original Storm Warriors Discord server was deleted due to it being completely destroyed and messed with by a bunch of admin abuse led by Nebula, also known as the Endermans Bro or Nebula Plays. You heard that correctly. You are seeing this correctly. The Endermans Bro is the reason why this is a version two of my server. The Endermans bro is the guy who destroyed 
my first Discord server. You guys have to believe that right after Nebula destroyed the server, I was pissed. Very, very pissed. So yeah, I come back to Discord and upload the teaser video, and then shortly after, the Endermans bro gets my server completely destroyed. Now, I was not online when he was destroying the server, and I don't think I had any other staff on that could do anything about the Endermans bro. So yeah, I couldn't do anything about it. No one could do anything about what he was doing. But when I came back online soon after, and I saw my server, I was really really pissed off. What I'm about to show you guys now, this is the folder where all my files go for exposing the Endermans Pro. You can see the Endermans Pro sucks part one, which is the recording that I made last week, and Zypixel and the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse episode one. What I'm gonna show you guys right now are some clips from Zypixel and the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse episode one, because this video was recorded shortly after my server got destroyed and I went to Fortnite Awesome Parody to figure out what the hell was going on. I will warn you guys, I was actually swearing so much while talking in this video because I was so mad about my server and everyone's reactions to me finding out about the server being destroyed. All new Ender Maznas Broa, Golf Rubnig Kriamami. Oh yeah, Marsh has like an obsession with talking about China, mainly just saying, do you like China? Or just saying China in general. Dude, the storm is actually retarded. -er. And then this is when Zai added me back to the group. Like I started unblocking people after I came back to Discord and I'm like, okay, I need content for this video. Like literally the only reason why I'm in Fortnite Awesome Parodies right now is to get content for this video right now. Like, without me being in this chat, there wouldn't be much content for me to get. So now, after I upload my video, I'm leaving the chat again, and probably saying goodbye to these guys for at least a while. Either a while or permanently. And yeah, I come into the chat extremely pissed because someone in this god darn chat screwed up my Discord server. Show yourself. So you guys remember this? This Discord server here, with a dog inside, um, a weenus, and the server's titled, Well, guess what? This server here was my server! I'm not even kidding! This server here was my server! Almost everything has been deleted. Almost all of the channels, both voice and text channels, are gone. And without any text channels, you can't even see the amount of members that are on the side of the screen. Literally, the only channel that's left is this voice channel for the top staff. And if I add a channel, look at this, look at this. All my bots still seem to be here, except for one. I still have my rank, obviously. The admin rank still exists. And the only real members that are online are Golden, Rexy, and Zai. And the thing is, I knew exactly who did this at the time. After a little bit of coming back to Fortnite Awesome Parodies, I realized there's only one person that has this picture. It's Wrench. Wrench is the one who completely destroyed my Discord server. And let's just, let's just go into roles. Half the roles have been deleted. All that's left is the staff roles and the bot roles. Everything else is gone. Because Wrench couldn't mess with the higher roles. Yeah, literally, there's like nothing. And the default notification settings were changed to all messages. Auto launch. Streamer mode enabled. Screw it. Because I want to see what's in these audit logs here. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, that's me updating stuff. The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. This is where we get to talking about them. The Endermans Bro, Kid Sith, Marsh, and Wrench. All of this stuff went down on my server about an hour and a half after I uploaded my video. At about that time, crap started happening. So Logan created an invite. He gave Kid Sith mod, and he gave Marsh mod. Logan updated the role mod so you could ban people. Oh my god. Everyone else in my server, they were all banned. 
Logan, Kid Sith, Marsh, and Wrench. What I'm trying to say about these guys and why I'm calling them the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse is that they all had a part in destroying my Discord server. Logan invited everyone and updated the mod rolls without permission and everything, and then Kid Sith banned everyone. Marsh and Logan also helped with that. Everyone, all the normal members, were just banned. And then he banned Marsh himself. Kid Sith finished banning everyone, and then Logan started removing categories. He updated the mod roll to do everything. He literally made mod rolls so you could do, like, everything with it and destroy the server. Logan banned Marsh at one point, and that left him, Kid, and Wrench to do the rest of the work. And they deleted almost all of my channels, both text and voice. Everything deleted. Set the default message notification. Yeah, he did set that to all messages. Set the server icon. And then they started deleting all the roles. This is when I started creating sample text messages to see all the people that are left in the server. So yeah, this is literally all who's left now. Everything is deleted. So let's break this whole thing down. Logan invited Kid and Marsh because they weren't on the server before. Logan, with his admin role, because he had admin at the time, he updated the mod role so that anyone with the mod role could do whatever they want. He gave it to Kid Sith and Marsh, and they started banning people from the server and then they started removing channels then they started removing roles and in between all that marsh got banned by logan and then all three of them just leave so now you know why i call these guys the four horsemen of the apocalypse they destroyed my discord server This whole situation just gets worse from here. So now we're gonna go back to Fortnite Awesome Parodies and see what happens next. My Discord server is screwed, and then I ping Logan because I think it's him. I don't know what you're talking- Really? He lied! I didn't even realize that! He lied! I wasn't even in your server. He lied as well! I didn't even realize. I completely didn't realize. I was on mobile at the time, and I wasn't able to look at audit logs, because you can't see audit logs on mobile. They were both lying. I was kicked or something from your server. Dude, Logan was full-on lying the whole time. What a fu- He's actually a- Go die- Just ask nicely. Yeah, after my Discord server got completely destroyed. Yeah, nicely. It was all John. He just said it. What happened? Stormed, what happened? Kid says, says you freaked my server. Oh, yeah, duh. It was funny. He thought doing this was funny. Yeah, it was. 
Kisset says, thanks for the shout out in your latest video. Wrench, he is screwed up. And he says, I know. Guys, just chill. Wrench, that was way above the line. Like, literally, Zai is just trying to calm us down, but no. Congratulations, Wrench. Got quite the reaction out of you. Here is the real question. Is destroying the server wrong, or is calling a 12-year-old Hitler messed up? That's not even a real question. It's obviously destroying the server. He says, I think option two, because he's retarded. It's real if I asked them. That isn't a real question, as in, that question shouldn't exist because the answer is easy to figure out. But apparently he doesn't realize that. Retard. Retard. You talking to a mirror. At this point, Logan just starts insulting me. And then Dogs tries to get in on this in the weirdest way possible. I hope you enjoy everything I did to your sh server. I had a great time. Deleting all your retarded channels. Yeah, this is how this went down. Can't believe Logan thinks this is okay too. Yeah, I didn't message Kitsith or Marsh about them completely destroying my server or Logan because I thought it was just all Wrench. Now I realize it's all four of them. Trash talk me, big boy. And yeah, Wrench is just telling me to trash talk. Well, I think that calling Zai Hitler is messed the frick up. Okay, here's the thing. It is likely that other people roaming around the internet will watch this video. Let's just think about this. Calling someone a name on the internet, whether it would be Hitler or Joseph Stalin or Ollie A or Jax Films. Calling someone a name on the internet is nothing compared to completely destroying a Discord server. Yeah, you could have just let him in peace. Never. It was a screenshot this for your gay video, and I will SCREENSHOT DUMB F- Dude, chill, he's a human being too. Hey, people that are reading this, Stormed actually has autism. Thought I'd let you guys know. Yeah, well, um, if you like to fake calling people, uh, things like that, then I'll just say that Logan has cancer. Hey, at least I have loyal friends that don't make videos on people without permission, unlike your dumb freaking ass. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think Logan has heard of a single commentary YouTuber before. Well, that's what I thought. Scroll down. He mentions Leafy. See that I don't mention Leafy at all in this chat until Logan says Leafy. So, yeah, Logan knows what commentary YouTubers are, but at the same time, he says that I have loyal friends that don't make videos on people without permission. So, okay. Okay, you need permission to make videos about anyone. Do I need permission to make a video about PewDiePie? Do I need permission to make a video about literally any person on planet Earth? Wrench 1, Storm 0. Actually, it's like Storm 50. Seeing you mad brings me joy. You've done something you shouldn't have done. Wrench said, ha ha ha, you make it so seem so serious. I have no regrets, fam. I love this. Wrench literally talks. When he's on Discord, he talks like, Oh my god, I got my dick stuck in the pantry. <laughs> That's how he actually talks. I wish I had video proof. Ender Bro says, Sure, he's a human being, but he's trying to ruin you. And we're defending you.
Now I hope this backfires and gets us more subs and you start losing some. <laughs> so you're saying that you're gonna get subs for destroying a Discord server and attempting to defend someone who actually did some bad stuff. After I was finally able to get onto a computer, since it wasn't letting me do this on mobile, I got rid of Logan's admin rank on my Fortnite squad server so he couldn't do the same thing to that server. Logan's Twitter account doesn't appear until I type in the letter O, oh, that's how irrelevant he is. So there you guys have it. Now you know the truth about what has happened with my old server, with Zypixel and his buddies, and the Endermans bro especially. Now what I'm gonna show you guys are screenshots in the exposing screenshots folder. Some of these have the Endermans bro in them. If you guys don't remember, in Zypixel on the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse Episode 1 Part 2, I showed off some of the important screenshots that showed what Zypixel and his buddies were doing during the drama. And I'm gonna be doing the same kind of thing right now, except I'm gonna be doing it with the Endermans bro being in the pictures. So let's get into this. Okay, so this was on Derp Army. I just got warned for nothing. What was that for? Oh wait, Stormed is an admin, I forgot. Since I'm the only person that you're in drama with on Derp Army, that has to have mean that I punished you for no reason. It makes so much logical sense. Yeah, I know, it makes so much logical sense. Because we're in drama, I'm just free to punish you for no reason. Yep, exactly. Pi says, no, that was me. Your song in media had an inappropriate reference. Well, I didn't watch the whole thing, spaz. Yeah, you might as well have gotten kicked from the server for that. Watch your mouth. And he responds with no you. I didn't even send a song, Pi, so you gave me a warning for no reason. What do you mean? You did send a song. I watched it. And he says that like 20 minutes later. The Endermans bro was also part of the Bobby raid that happened on this server and Derp Army. This is from one of Ender Knight's streams. I said, Zypixel, chill is Logan, lol he mad cause he bad. So the Endermans bro hopped on his alt account called Chill Time Vibes because he thought that Ender Knight would not realize that it's actually the Endermans bro. But obviously I was saying that Showtime Vibes is Logan. He literally has the profile picture of that meme. At least I can actually make good videos, trash boy. Oh my god, abusive manager, even though Ender also muted Wrench, so I guess that makes Ender an abusive manager as well, lol. Wrench was in here as well. Lol, you make Minimator animations. <laughs> that was my reply to this. This was after the Bobby thing happened. Bobby is here to stay. Oh, okay, no. Yes, nope. The Endermans bro was just talking in Derp Army for some reason. I don't know why the Endermans bro was in Derp Army in the first place. Okay, this was my reply to the Endermans bro on the trailer video. He said it's funny because he put us all as superheroes that everyone loves and then he put himself as a villain which everyone hates. It's almost like he knows the truth about himself. Why would I ever make it seem like I'm the bad guy and you guys are the good guys? Why would I ever make it seem that way when it's clearly not? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And I made this like huge comment about the explanation of the drama and how I was making the whole thing similar to how Avengers Infinity War worked, which honestly, that was a stupid idea and I don't really care about it anymore. Just a throwaway comment at this point. Obviously, you're not the good guy. You destroyed my server. What is actually wrong with you? This was around Halloween, the Endermans bro got warned on Derp Army for emoji spam, which was a rule on the server that was actually kind of hidden, but it was in a pinned message in the spam channel. He said, this server sucks. The people that warn me are the worst, especially when I get warned for spam in a spam chat. Oh, the, the server sucks because people are doing their jobs. That's like saying, hey, Wendy's sucks because they made me a burger. Here's another thing of him saying, so I got warned for spam in the spam chat, showing him that the pinned message is no emoji spam from Ender Knight. He used to be mad at people who would take this song by Element Animation, twist the lyrics and turn it into, you don't want to mess with the Endermans, bro. No, 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 no. We were kind of teasing Logan about it, just, you know, normal teasing jokes, stuff like that. But the Endermans, bro, hated it so much that like he would leave group chat 
chats and leave games over it. It was actually insane. And not only that, but he's mentioned before to FNAP that he was literally going to commit suicide over dying in a Fortnite game. I'm not even kidding, he is that insane. Okay, so that's it for the Endermans bro in the exposing screenshots folder, but now we are here in the OG drama screenshots folder now to look at more Endermans bro pictures. Here's another image from that Ender Knight stream. This was Wrench's YouTube name back then. I don't know if it's still the same thing right now. Ender Knight deleted a message of his. Chill Time Vibes, also known as the Endermans bros alt account, says XDD. I say that guy is Wrench, by the way, never talked to him. And then he says, whoa, that manager seems abusive. Yeah, I didn't even do anything, but okay. Logan, I know that. That is you. Yeah, like, you can't hide. I already know your alt accounts and stuff, so... I also know that you have an Instagram called Logie Bear. Hold up. I'm not even kidding. He actually has an Instagram called Logie Bear. I haven't been able to find it lately or anything, but I've seen his account before though, and he managed to get himself a prom date at some point. Too bad she doesn't know what you've been doing lately and how bad of a person you really are. This is Pyrocynical uploading the Hitler on YouTube. Oh no, he called someone Hitler. Guess what? Um, he's bad and he will die. Definitely affected him so much. Someone sent a link to Ender Knight's stream that was ongoing in the FNAF chat. I s oh, that was Kid that sent it. I said, Kid, no. He called Ender out for trash mic quality. The Enderman's bro says, let's laugh at this. XDD, he thinks we're suffering. OMFG. <laughs> Did I ever say that he was suffering? Oh, I probably said something like, you and your channel are gonna go downhill because of this video. For some reason, he thinks it's not gonna happen at all. Well, you're obviously wrong. Cussing is immature. What the duck? Yes, Stormed, especially when you do it. Cussing is immature? Literally all of you guys have swore before, so that's not even a valid point. Well, Wrench does it every time he chats, so that makes him immature too. Otherwise, Zai is being hypocritical. I found it. This is the most golden message from the Endermans bro I have seen besides the comment of him telling me to kill myself. The Endermans bro sent this in the chat when I was kicked out of it. He said he looks like a rapist. Partway through the social media vape, he paused at a moment and took a screenshot and said that. What a great freaking person this guy is. Oh, this was when the Endermans bro, this was before he changed his name to Nebula, he was asking, hey, I want a new username, what should it be? And I put in, I made another Minimator render. And he said, he actually replied and said no. This was when Zypixel said that I called, quote unquote, everyone messed up. The Endermans bro says, us, true, because bully. I already talked about this screenshot in... Zypixel on the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, episode one, part two. Well, he thinks everyone is messed up. This is coming from the guy who led an admin abuse raid and destroyed my server. He just says XD right here. Not today, Satchian. Okay, I'm gonna record in a bit. The Endermans bro says, okay. Here's a post from Wrench on Instagram. You can invest so much time into someone and they'll either freak you over or it's just not worth it in the end. And it rarely can be a relationship that lasts for ages. I took this picture because kind of relates to Logan a little bit. This is when the Endermans bro had me blocked at some point on Twitter. This is when the Endermans bro posted on Instagram saying, starting to get a feeling that I'm losing friends. Huh? I wonder why. This is the Endermans Bro's announcement to change his username and all social media platforms from the Endermans Bro to Nebula. This was something I sent on Instagram stories. I'll bet you guys that Nebula slash the Endermans Bro is gonna go into Fortnite's replay mode tomorrow after season seven releases, take a screenshot of himself in an airplane, put a filter on it and post it to Instagram saying that's his best work that he's ever made. Bet. And guess what? Let's go back to the Instagram app. Fanatmus. The Christmas spirit is in the air. It's so incredible. He's so full of it. Who is he? He's too scared to mention who he's talking about because he knows that we'll roast the crap out of him. Yeah, I am too scared to mention you on my Twitter when I've already mentioned all of you guys at least 50 different times. 
that wrench, we would have been done with Storm if he could just keep his mouth shut every once in a while and not call a child Hitler. Okay, you are manipulating the situation to make it seem even worse. Like, you might as well just call Zypixel a fetus and say that I called a fetus Hitler. Like, what is wrong with you? And didn't decide to cuss out a whole bunch of 12 to 15 year olds. So that's on him. He started all of this, not us. Yep. Oh my gosh, guys. I was the person who bullied Epic Miner. Yep. That was all me. Definitely all me. It, wa it was all my fault. I started literally everything. Yeah, I know. I know. It was all me. Oh no. I am done for. I am losing subscribers. What am I ever gonna do? Still, watch him fix his computer and make more videos. Just gonna get more dislikes. Yeah, I am definitely getting tons of dislikes to this day. He can tweet this all he wants, but he better at least remember that this is all his fault and he has started all this. I already mentioned how you started everything like a million times. Oh uh, yeah, the oh yeah yeah video. Nebula commented on it saying, it seems that he's now having a breakdown over an internet joke it seems. Kinda sad if you ask me. I was literally just making a fun video about the oh yeah yeah meme and you're saying I'm having a breakdown over it. Like, what do you mean? And I replied to that saying something like, this is the worst comment that I've ever seen ever August 2018. So would you care to explain the brave decision you made about saying that I look like a rapist the other day before I rejoined FNAF? That's such a smart thing to do. Well, at least I wasn't lying. Well, that's what you think. Honestly, he's probably not thinking that like at all. He's just trying to come up with ways to make me look bad. It's not like literally all seven plus billion people on the planet think I look like Rafus because you called me that. Just straight up unironically calling me that right then and there is a trash thing for you to do. You are a sick human being, honestly. Also, I'm, I am obviously not a freaking rapist. If you also slash actually meant to straight up say that Storm is a rapist XDD. September 1st. So would you like to tell me what I have done wrong so I can break down and obliterate all of your points? Seems like you don't want to tell anyone else about what I have done because you have nothing on me. I got David cornered and brought him down. Made him block me even. Now you're next, so explain yourself. Or you could block me now and save yourself from this for a little while. Your choice. It's funny that you think that you're the boss and I'm scared of you. I'm really not, so try all you want. You're not getting anything out of me. So I've already won. I've, I've already won the situation. He didn't give me any points or anything. He just says this and that's it. So technically I've already won. I don't need to be a boss to expose the crap out of you. You don't need to be scared, but if I was you, I would apologize and give up because this crap is pointless and a very stupid thing to do. I'm not getting anything out of you. Well, have fun telling everyone to hate me when you have reasons by, but you aren't going to tell people those reasons. Yeah, um, apparently he has reasons why people should hate me, but he isn't telling anyone that. Which translates to, I don't actually have any reasons, I'm just saying that I have reasons, but I'm not telling you them just to try and make you seem bad. If you don't tell the reasons, then it's all gonna be on you, and you're the terrible person. I mean, you're already the terrible person, so what am I saying? Why do you think people would believe you when you don't even tell them the reasons why I'm the bad guy in this, lol? And he doesn't reply. I tell him he's actually retarded. He says, yes, you are, because I didn't put your. Well, that isn't even what I said, but like you always say, nice try. Also, that's actually you because of what you've done, but whatever. Apparently, Nebula tried to start a call on the 7th of October, 2018. I don't know why. Fast forward to February, 2019. LeMayo, click if you dare. Do you see it? Look at this. I went into incognito mode on Google Chrome one time. I didn't want to do this in normal Google Chrome mode because then I would have to like sign out of my YouTube account and then sign back into it. Going into incognito mode saves me the hassle. So I went into incognito mode, searched up the Endermans bro on YouTube because that's the only way to find his channel to this day, exposing the Endermans bro, Smexay, and Benbo. The Endermans bro is right up front in the title and the description of my second drama stream video. And because of the attention and stuff that it has gotten so far, it may be very little attention, but he is up here next to his channel when you search up his channel name. So people will search up his channel, they'll see this drama stream and that the Endermans bro is in it. They're gonna watch it and see some of what the Endermans bro did. Isn't that amazing? Next day he comes to me and says, okay, cool, don't care. You won't be able to do anything to me or my channel. Have a nice day, kiddo. It's literally right there. Everyone's already begun to see how much of a terrible person you really are. Well, you're so dumb. You can literally see it right near the top when you search the Endermans Row. Not to mention that when you search that on YouTube, my channel plus a bunch of my own videos appear in the results. And that's in incognito mode. Face it, you're screwed. Just about all of our DMs have been exposed. Face defeat like a man. Yeah, if you search up his channel and then you scroll down for a bit longer, you'll find some of my videos that I made with him and also my channel itself. Along with videos that are not relevant to the Endermans Row, I think, but I'm not too sure about that. 
that. Stop acting like you're all tough. Just because your videos pop up doesn't mean that I'm screwed. Uh, it kind of does if it's exposing you. It's mainly because you put my name in the title. <laughs> okay. And plus, nobody cares. If someone likes you a lot and then they see that you're actually a bad guy, they're obviously not really going to like you anymore. It makes you like a little because people act like people usually would on the internet. This guy's grammar and spelling. I don't act, especially in drama. Calling you out for doing horrid crap isn't being a little bleh. It's better than saying nothing. Completely evades my statement and then says, plus, what were you doing on incognito mode? Watching porn? Freak out of here, horny a boff. It saves me the time to sign out and sign back in, retard. Excuses, excuses. Try it yourself. You're acting like an idiot right now. You just needed some excuse to mention, ha ha ha, Stormwatch porn. He is disgusting. The lengths that this guy goes to, though. Okay, back on Instagram, uh, whatever you say, kid. Maybe you should stop, kid. I just found out about the crap you did last month. That's pretty low. Honestly, don't know what you're talking about, dude. Allow me to give you a hint to brighten the Bull. You can't italicize text here to express yourself. You're faking is what I'm trying to say. Faking your little depression act and all of that. Now, at this point in time, I completely forgot that I actually did figure it out when he first started doing this crap. It wasn't fake. I had a mental breakdown after that, so you can go F yourself. I'm sure it wasn't. I have reasons to believe that you are faking your crap. Plus, getting depressed because you died in Fortnite? Really now? Insulting people, telling people to go F themselves, etc. obliterated your reputation and makes you look like a horrible person, which is not good for you if you're trying to gain attention. If anything, the attention you'll be getting is more people that absolutely hate you for what you've said and done. I'll admit, you had me tricked last year when you were depressed. I'm not falling for that crap again. He never actually had me tricked last year. And then I mentioned Nebula a couple more times in my stories, and then Golden actually made this. He changed Nebula's profile picture to say snake. And I sent that to him on Instagram. I also sent that to him on Discord too. He's a snake. After his last message to me on February 11th, 2019, Nebula hasn't said like anything else about the drama. He's completely ignoring everything I say to him. Look at all this down here. After a little while, I tell him, lol, you've been pretty quiet about the drama since the second drama stream. Are you not going to say anything about all of this or what? And guess what? He did kind of respond at some point on the Golden Stuff Discord server. Scroll up. Nebula said, ah, on the 16th of June, 2019. And then I say, Lameo, not even DMing back because you know I'm right. DMs? I told him, dude, being silent is not helping your case at all. It's doing the complete opposite. And that's what's really going to bring you down. You know I'm right. You're not responding and you're also messaging elsewhere across Discord. This is what is going to start your downfall. And then I go back into incognito mode on Google Chrome, search up his channel again. Well, would you look at that? It's already begun. Both drama stream number two and drama stream number three are really high up in Nebula's search results. Now here's the thing about Nebula. He and his best friend Wrench are actually not friends anymore. I think I mentioned this in the final Zypixel and the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse video, but they're not friends anymore. Wrench tried to message Nebula for a while and Nebula would never respond to him. It's only when Wrench snaps at Nebula that Nebula decides to actually respond. So here's the thing. I thought that if I snapped at Nebula, then maybe he would respond as you can see. But um, yeah, this is the last message in our DMs right now. Like he hasn't said anything else. So after this, I see that Nebula has been messaging on Golden Stuff's Discord a little bit. He said, ah, so I respond to him saying, Lameo, not even DMing back because you know I'm right. And guess what his reply is? No, because I don't give a crap. You don't give a crap about drama that you're in? Really? You don't give a crap about drama that you started and you are very involved in? Ah, uh, yeah, if I don't give a crap about the drama, then it'll be fine. Everything will be fine. I don't care about it. I don't care that I just called everyone bad. I don't care that I destroyed Storm Server. I don't care. And that's the problem. You not giving a crap is going to be the reason you're going down. Or should I say one of the many reasons you're going down? down. And that, guys, is the end of the Enderman's Bro drama. I have been wanting to make this video for months, exposing him for what he has done to me for years. He said sorry twice after two different times of drama, and he's still doing drama. His apologies are fake as hell. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for Exposing the Endermans, bro. Thank you guys for watching. If you could leave a like, get this video as much attention as it can to show everyone how bad the Endermans, bro, really is, I would really 
Really appreciate it. I'd also like to see your comments on what you think about the Endermans, bro. I will read them and I will give them just as much attention as this video needs. Make sure you guys also subscribe to my channel to join the Storm Warriors. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video as much attention as you can. Send it to your friends, tweet it out, do anything to get this video attention so we can take the Endermans, bro down. Now, the Endermans bro might recover from this. I can definitely see that happening. People just at least need to know about what he has done. To me, to Epic Miner, and anyone else that he has hurt. Or, you know, tried to hurt. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.